Hello students. So today we'll discuss about the main concept of this chapter that is about C language. Okay. So all the basic things you required to learn this C language or to learn about C programming, all those things we discussed in the previous classes. So today will directly connect with the C language or C programming right so this C language it is a very high level language right because I told you in the last class only that there are different languages designed for different purposes right so some languages are sorry some programs are developed for specific reasons and some programs are developed for general reasons to do any kind of the task but this c language it is both general purpose also and a specific purpose also this is general purpose and specific purpose programming language and this is the most popular and common programming language right so this is for every application developer will be using this c language okay so how this is developed so this C language is developed at Bell Telephone Laboratory Bell Telephone Laboratory in USA in 1972 this is developed okay so how what is the history behind developing this C language or what are the main purposes that stands as the requirement to develop this kind of the language if we think of then we'll talk about two scientists we talk about two scientists they are Dennis Rich and and Brian Cunningham okay so what happened what happened means so this c is basically derived from two programming languages which were already existing means two programming before c also there were the programming languages but this c is derived from the two existing languages that is bcpl language and b language means before c there was this kind of language and this kind of language also so this bcpl was developed by martin richard okay and this b was developed by ken thompson okay so in 1970 what happened mr ken thompson who developed this b he wrote a new language document okay and to this he started working on how this is going to work so to that new language in 1972 Dennis Rich developed the new version of this B okay means in this version B only they developed some things and to that they named as C language because in the alphabetical after B there is C so this B only p language only is developed and it is name is given as c language understood so this is c language so like this c language was developed so when we talk about some characteristics and some applications of c language let me talk about first characteristics of c language characteristics of c language so this c language as i told you earlier it is a general purpose programming and also specific purpose programming language okay second it helps in it helps in the development of system software it helps in the development of system software and it is having a reach of operator so many kinds of operators are available it provides some compact representation for the expressions and this don't have any rigid format it is easy easier to know about then it supports rich of data types okay 
and here there is very less number of reserved words will be there means not everything is given very less number of reserved word, words will be there and it is having a ability to extend itself by adding some other functions to it from the library like that so many characteristics of c languages are there and why and how we have to use this c language means we have to use this in the system software and the application software what is system software and application software now you think of your mobile phone only right so the camera what whatever was given or the or what or the phone or the speaker whatever it is given no so all those things are given by the system only they are already present by default right so to develop such system softwares also c language is used and to develop application software means apps so many number of apps we are having right now right so to develop those apps also c language is required that's why i told you that this is a general purpose language also and it is a specific purpose language also understood so now as so this if this is a language means let uh, consider the example of english language right english language is also one language in which we are having alphabets to write right so they that alphabets only are the important role to write those english words so if there is no alphabet then how can we write any english words so to write the c language also we should know about character set so what is this character set means every programming language has its own characters so every programming language not only c but every programming language it is having its own uh, set of characters so the characters used in the c language are grouped into three main categories whatever the characters we are using because in the english language we use the character a b c d like that and 1 0 2 3 numbers we will use so they they are all what uh, characters understood in your mob in your computer keyboard also you can observe there are numbers are there function keys are there alphabets are there so they are all they all are what different groups of characters right so in this c language also we are having some characters and that characters can be grouped into three groups first one is alphabets and second one is digits and third one is special characters understood so these three are the characters we use in the c programming language so let let know about them in detail so what are these three characters indicate means first character is what of alphabets alphabets means normally upper upper letters and small letters understood upper case and small small case we know na in the a b c d right so in the alphabets we are having two parts upper letters from a to z and the small letters from a to small z so these two are these this group this group is what the characters of c language understood so now the digits 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 from 0 to 9 they are the characterist characters of the c programming or c language okay so now what is the special characters means right we 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 will be having symbols no in in the in the keyboard example i told there also we are having the symbols like this to this symbol we call it as the full point this we call it as a comma and this we call it as a colon right and this is the hash right and still so many equality sign is there plus minus signs are there brackets are there flower brackets are there like this square brackets are also there understood less than greater than 
right so these are slash is also there okay and percentage so many special characters are there understood so these all will come in character set of c programming language understood alphabets uppercase a to z lowercase a to z digits 0 to 9 and some special characters understood by using them only we can write the c program understood now you understood what we require to write any c program you understood na so now what is the basic structure of any c program from the initial day of the chapter only we are saying go on saying c program c program c program so now we literally start writing c program or we literally let be capable of designing at least one c program okay so what this c program is consisting of means so let me tell you the basic structure of a c program basic structure of a c program understood so the different programming languages have, have their own format of coding right so in this c program what are the basic components means the first one is main main with the brackets okay second pair of a pair of curly braces curly braces means like th this type of brackets curly braces okay and it will be having some declarations and statements and also we are having what user defined functions okay so this is what basic structure of a c program okay look at it properly so these all the things we will be having when we are writing any program or when we are talking about any c program understood so let's write a um, a simple program means the structure of a c program okay so what this c program will be having that i told you here main means two brackets will be there closing and pair of curly braces you can also call it flower bracket and declarations and statements and user defined functions okay so how all these things are designed in which particular place in the program okay so for our reference what i will do we will write a basic structure of a c program okay so how see here first we will have a pre processor statements pre processor statements okay then global declarations and now main okay this we have studied no? hmm. now this uh, what we call this as curly brace curly brace okay one curly brace and now leaving one line over here declarations and statements
okay so now these curly braces will close now and we have to write at the last user defined user defined function okay so these this is the what format of any c program okay so what this processor preprocessor statement is what is global direction declaration or what is all these things that is not necessary this also i told that as a extra thing okay So now to write this C program they got us some uh, what we can call it as some short forms right means some key some um, what can I say some instruction only in terms of uh, words or in terms of symbols they have given okay so to them I call them as the C tokens okay c tokens means what the basic and the smallest the basic and the smallest units of a c program so what this c token is the basic and very smallest unit of a c program is called as the c tokens so in this c tokens we are having totally six types six types so the first one is key words okay the second word is identifier third one is constants fourth one is strings operators special symbols so these are the six types of c token and what is c token it is a smallest and very basic and smallest unit of c program is called as what c token okay so these are the six types of c tokens okay so about this c tokens we will discuss in the next class okay i'll provide you the notes of these things very soon don't get panic about anything or don't worry so keep on studying okay thank you